And now to a developing story that we have been following all day long. A statue of Christopher Columbus was removed around 5 o'clock this morning from the Buffalo Park that bears his name. It was done at the request of an Italian American group. Two on your side's Dave McKinley tells us what might happen to the statue that has caused controversy and lately plenty of conversation. Throughout the country as of late, statues of Columbus have been among those targeted by mobs for defacing and destruction. We in the city of Buffalo and the Federation of Italian American Societies was not going to allow that to happen here. And so the group which erected the statue and donated it to the city several years ago asked the city to take it down and return it to them. It was to prevent the destruction of the statue. They plan to erect it elsewhere, most likely indoors to keep it safe. And according to sources, a potential landing spot would be here at the former North Park Library, which is currently being converted into an Italian American cultural museum. Although that, just like the Columbus statue as of today, is not set in stone. The group says it is not rejecting Columbus or his significance in their cultural history. As a symbol for the Italian president presence in this country. But at the same time, they are requesting that the park be renamed in a fashion to honor Italian American heritage, to erect another monument to symbolize that, to have October be declared Italian Heritage Month. And the second Monday in October as Italian Heritage Day. They also acknowledge that Columbus is viewed, especially by some descendants of those who were here before the Europeans came, as a symbol of invasion and conquest. We as an Italian American community uh, are very, uh, very sympathetic to the rights and the plight of the indigenous people. Reached by phone, Seneca Nation President Ricky Armstrong told me that he viewed today's action as one of unification, certainly one of mutual respect, and he said that, along with working together, is the way to overcome differences. In Buffalo, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.